WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of very sunny, a very pleasant Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update, and we start our day with a mixed bag. You've got the Dow up 79 points, the S&P up 2, NASDAQ 100 up 26. The Russell's down 11, semis are off 3, trannies are down 32. You've got gold trading off a buck. Silver's up 11 pennies. Light free crude is up 19 cents. Natural gas is up a penny in the 30-year treasury, back 10 ticks. Printed out 116.12. Let's figure out what all that means by looking at that nine panel market update chart. We begin with the ES mini upper left hand side. You'll see an A to B equal CD pattern. Price hit that objective. Uh, yesterday, that ob objective was 52.27. We got to 52.26.75. That works for Stevie. That does not mean it's a sell the D point or a Gartley sell pattern. What we're waiting for is some type of bearish reversal candle. We don't have that as we speak just yet. Spot volatilics did make its way down to that lower Bollinger Band, just as we had assumed. So it's down there right now. You could begin to see things turn here. But it's still below that 50-day exponential moving average. And that provides a, a bit of uh, comfort for the buyers out there. The NQ also attaining its one-to-one -one level. The next level and this A to B equals CD journey would be up at the 18,449 level. If there were be, if there were to be a bearish reversal candle, that would generate a sell the D point pattern. U.S. dollar index has formed a new profile bullish in structure, uh, but that new profile is with inside the prior profile. So we should see a move up. Uh, that move up would take us towards the uh, 106.18 area, but more likely than not, we have a sideways consolidation pattern that's going to extend. If we take a look at uh, 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 the gold contract, it's just been trading sideways in between its weekly profile levels. Nothing new to report there. In the case of silver, once again, trying to take out the top of its daily profile. That's up at 27.84. If it can manage to do that, then you'd see a move up towards that 29.51 level. In the case of light sweet crude, it's got an A to B equal CD to the downside. If this were the end of the session, we would call this a buy the D point pattern. Why? Because right now it's a bullish hammer candle. But Stevie has no idea what that candle will look like at session end. But if we do get a bullish reverse candle then you've got a Gartley buy pattern in light sweet crude natural gas trying to make its way up towards that 240 level that's the measured move of its consolidation breakout and that's a pattern that it's in right now in the case of the 30-year Treasury it did break out above the top of its daily profile it's trading slightly above it right now it does have that little descending trend line use the touch points out there if you're following the 30-year Treasury from March 7th at the high as well as March the 28th so folks stay tuned for the Trader's Ed show if you will but if you start off to start your Wednesday please have a a wonderful one. Thanks for joining us and we'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care now.